All right. So now going into switching over, man. What you got new coming out, man? Uh, I got I got a brand new single, Money Over Hoes, dropping real soon, mm-hmm. featuring Crash Bandit and um, Southside Monte. Okay. Some stupid ass shit, man. I can't wait for this shit to drop for real, man. No, Southside Monte, what you talking about? Rest in peace, Monte? You got another Monte? Long live, long live Southside Monte, man. Yes, sir. So y'all still got vocals and audios yeah, and man. Just other these projects? Yeah, the grind don't ever stop, man. That shit don't ever stop. Yes, this sir. Shit for, this shit forever going. No matter what. Going. Okay, and what platform that's on all the other platforms? Man, that shit gonna be everywhere on all platforms. Y'all got a video coming out for it, then y'all go, go throw old videos y'all got with Monte in there, or how that gonna work? Uh, see, uh, this is, uh, this is a surprise for all that, but yeah, I, it's, I got some shit coming, man, but like, I can't really get into too much detail about it, but yeah, I got, I really got some shit coming for, for it, man. That's what's up, that's what's up. Now, when it comes to videos, man, who y'all got shooting y'all videos so far, man? I mean, video, you know what I'm saying, waiter, wop, you know what I'm saying, I'm working with anybody for real, for real, I'm serious. Okay. Like, I've been seeing around, like, 17, I, I see, like, Big Spread, you may see, like, Sonny shoot, shoot, um, Somebody for 17K. Okay, okay. Now, I seen uh, the song Bad Route. We talked about Bad Route. Now, let's talk about Water and OJ. OJ, OJ and Water. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Man, that, that shit forever a banger, man. Club What's the meaning banger? behind that? Huh? What's the meaning for that? Man, that shit. Turn, turn the fuck up, man. Enjoy life party, man. Man, do a fucking big shit. That shit forever going to be a classic. Yeah, that sir. shit going to blow up. Yes, sir. Just like how White Me Down blew up, blew up, man, that OJ and Water gonna fucking blow up, man. What's the meaning behind OJ and Water, though, man? What OJ and Water, that's a, that's a catchy name for, <laughs> for a title, man. How, how'd that come along, man? Who, who, who titled the track, man? Man, uh, uh, shit, OJ and Water, man, shit, you know. Some hood, like I said, some hood rat shit with my friends, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We turned up shit, man. Man, uh, just party and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker get dehydrated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. OJ and water, man. Yeah. Keep yeah. It going, man. You gotta stay hydrated when you drink it and you party it, man. Now, how important is it to actually have that livelihood between, you know, the party life, that going out, hanging with your friends, kickback, stuff like that, and letting it flow into the music, man? It's natural. It's not like put together. I mean, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, how how you work? How you work? That's all I can say, man. Yeah. So how you work for real? Yeah. How no. you put into it? But shit, ain't good to party all the time, man. Unless you get a bag out of that shit, but you know. I, I mean, some it. people get a bag to party, man. So, yeah. Should be crazy. You almost get a bag for anything. Yeah. And you gotta look up, man. A lot of people don't research shit. You get paid for walkthroughs, you get paid to show up, you get paid just to be on a flyer. Man, dude, you know? there's kids younger than me that's rich. You hear me? And why is that, man? Shit. Some may got a foundation, you know, others may just work. Can't get mad at that? Shit. Can't get mad at anybody getting money. Who you want to party with, man? Man. If, if you got on, man, what's the first group of artists you think you'd be about to party with, man? I ain't really too much in the whole whole party and shit, man. Let's say it's a strip, it's a strip club, but shit, man. I don't even motherfucking know, man. No. You know, if, if I become rich, shit, I still live a normal ass life, man. Fuck it, man. I'll be all right. I ain't got a party. Yeah. I feel you, bro. I'm a party, bro. But you had a party. Where you party at, man? What's some of the places you, you done party at, man? Man, I turned up in Magic City at one time, man. Loved it. Had to do it big, man. Yeah. It was a good experience. Man, shit. You live like you only got one life. Gotta do it big no matter what. You think that motivates you when you when you working on your music, working on your tracks? No matter what, hell yeah, shit. 
That's what's good, man. Now, as far as clothing and fashion, man, how you how you go into clothing and fashion? Like you like like what do you choose when you, when you stepping out, man? And, you know, I got my, my own swag. You know what I'm saying? But I got some merch that's co that I got working on that's coming out soon. I, I got it on right now. Cheap, yes, broke, never. Yes, but sir. I'm working on some merch coming out real soon. So cheap, yes, broke, never. What that mean, man? That sound like Terry Crews from Everybody Hate Chris, man. You feel me? The, the, the hell no, I ain't spending that dollar. What, what, what does cheap, yes, broke, never mean? Man, shit. No matter what you, I mean, shit. No matter what you do with your bag, man, as long as you get it, what can anybody say, man? No, anybody gonna have an opinion to say, shit, this world gonna forever gonna have haters. Yeah. Motherfucker gonna talk shit no matter what. Niggas hate it on Jesus. Niggas hate on Jesus. So what? What that stop them from hating on you, or hating on me, or hating on anybody, man? No matter what. Now, how important is that hate to you, man? Because sometimes you can utilize that hate. How important is that to you? Man, that shit mon motivation. To be honest, no matter what, it might say I fucked up, but shit, that shit fueled the motherfucking fire. Yeah. Shit be hilarious on the low, for real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Word, shit, word. I, I react when motherfuckers don't like my shit. Okay, thank you for listening. Keep that shit going, man. Yeah, yeah. You seem like a laid back dude that don't get in no beef, man, and no shit like that. You just like to have your good time, focus on what you're doing, and stay in tune. It should be like that, man. But I can't say that for everybody. But it should be like that. Now, now, you, 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 you stay away from somebody. Somebody come around you, you working with them. Say you working with a new artist or whatever. You working with somebody, somebody told you work with, but they just bring in some negativity to your aura. What would you do, man? You gonna just? Me, I really, really too much can't fuck with them. After that, man, like I don't want to be in no no big beef shit. There ain't no point of us going at each other head. Fucking each other up, knocking each other bag off, man. That shit's stupid. That shit weird. Yeah, but yeah, there's been a lot of deaths and incidences happening in this industry, and there's a lot of work, man. Now, what, 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 how you feel about that the dog situation and all this crazy shit going on? That shit, that shit, wild, man. It's crazy. It's fucked up, to be honest, man. You just gotta be careful. And no matter what, shit be stupid, man. Motherfuckers just be hating. Can't just be happy and shit. Yeah. Now, how you feel about the whole uh, Dave Chappelle situation, man? And uh, uh, we, gonna, we went into it earlier, but how you feel about it? Man, that nigga had it coming, bro. I, I'm sorry, bro. Why you he, say that? That nigga man? had it coming. He was stupid enough to jump on that stage. He had that shit coming, bro. Yeah. Now, I don't know how the fuck he snuck in there with that gun. I don't know how he did that. Yeah, they but said look, something like it was a gun. I guess he was on a mission and he failed. Yeah. That's and fucked up. They broke his arms, bro. Hey. They broke that nigga hard, both of his arms, bro. They stupid game, went stupid pride. You seen the meme, bro? They photoshopped his arm onto the Ghetto Boys cover, bro. Hey. On the stretcher, bro. And his arm was fucked up like, bro, that shit's horrible, bro. Hey, this is why it's kind of important for rappers, like, have security. Ain't nothing wrong with having security, man. But you need protection, especially if you're the breadwinner. Good. You go carry a gun with you, man. Get you a license gun and shit, man. No matter what, I always have protection. You know they got different state laws. Some you can keep them registered. Some you can, some you can't. You know, it's always good to have people with you. How you feel about that whole uh, Chris Rock and Will Smith situation? Now that's some upper echelon niggerdom going on up that joint, bro. Uh oh. How you feel about that shit? Hey. hey. Like what what Uncle Rucker said, it's a very powerful nigga tree. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that like, shit caught me off guard. I was like, these some some respectable figures in this shit. Again, well, Will been known to slap niggas before, bro. I mean, true, true that. Like yeah, Will he, slapped the uh, paparazzi dude one time for trying to kiss him or some shit on the red carpet. Slap that nigga. I mean, yeah. I ain't saying Will was wrong, but like, shit, it just crazy, man. Like. To me, it just fucked up. You know, his wife embarrassed him live. 
in front of the whole world with his mama and, and kid right there, man. So, you know, who could say Will was in the wrong? He had so much emotion going on, man. Yeah. And that composer shit is in the way. I do that shit every day. A lot of people do, bro. It's like when you try to do something towards the masses, like entertaining or things like that, you get hit with some weird tests, man, right, that man. other people usually don't get hit with, bro. How you feel about these tests, man? What you gonna do in a situation like such, man? Shit be just saying stupid. I just got prepared for it, man. Yeah. It be so crazy. And I feel like motherfuckers be trying to get a bag that like they ain't trying to work for it, man. Like it's easy to get some damn money, but like they rather do some dumb shit, rather fuck up somebody who's doing good. You get some shit be just being stupid, man. Yeah. It's easy to fall into some stupid shit though, bro. Shit, stupidity stupid. everywhere, bro. You can fall into it no matter what you do. You can you can fall into it while you get in the bag. Man, shit just. Be it's crazy. along the way. Life. Yeah, man. How you how you deal with the balance between your personal life and entertainment? Yeah, man. I manage, man. I don't let I don't let shit get the best of me, man. I mean, I have good days. I have bad days, man. I just. Keep shit going, man. That's what's up, man. You read the Bible? I do. I believe in God, man. I ain't got to go to church for all that, man. I know. I believe. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. What's your, so what's your, your main religion? Like, what religious beliefs do you have? To me, it's a lot with, with, with religion, man, you know. Everybody got they say with religion. Man. Yeah, man. Spiritual, all the denominations, all the different beliefs, man. Yeah. But then when when it comes to looking at people financially, bro, that got the bag, everybody got a different belief somewhere or another. It's like they just stick with each other, man. But it's a lot of spiritual people right. that believe in the universe, natural occurrences, and shit like that. How you feel about that stuff, man? Spiritual. You think some people call it the devil? You think spiritual is okay to have? Man, I believe all that shit real, bro. It might sound crazy, but I believe all that shit real, yeah. Bro, you it's ever true. had any paranormal activity? Man, I think all of us had that shit, man. Whether you high or not, man. And all of us have had that shit before, man. Yeah. Now, some of that shit freaked you out, though, man. man sh- Shit you the fuck now, wake you the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Now, all the all the places you 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 are you from Mississippi. Yeah. I know you traveled to other places and you lived out of VA. You know, out of all the places that you've been and experienced, which is the number one place that stuck with you daily? Like stuck with you that you're influenced by that you say your sound kind of comes from. What's the number one place for you? I mean, I'm always be a country boy to the day I die. Yeah, man. man. No matter what. Now, Virginia, low key city and country too. It's a little mixture. Virginia's still the South, man. You consider Virginia still the South? No Virginia's still the South. You don't think we got some city? We got mad city. I mean, once you go up north, yeah, but like Virginia's still the South. But you know, everybody got that say about Virginia. But Virginia's still the South, man. No, I notice that some people, you know, like they'll be from DC. But they favorite team Cowboys. Some people from Texas, but they favorite team the Redskins. What's 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 your uh, what's your favorite artist or sound of music? It don't have to be from the South. Don't have to be from the West. Don't have to be from the North. You know. But what's your favorite sound of hip hop and rap? My favorite sound. Yeah. Oh man, we got hip hop, man. I wanna say, um, Boss Out Crazy, Andre 3000. Andre 3000? Yeah, man. Man, he versatile, man. He stayed in the game since the beginning when the South came in, man. What? Word, man. What's your favorite Outcast project? Man, what really got me was uh, 
Mr. Oh, when they dropped, sorry, Miss Jackson, man. Yeah. yeah, that shit was, that's still, they still play that shit to me, bro. I promise you, they still play throwback. That's what they go to. You had a front, it's it out crazy. here. What's so crazy, though? Like, yeah, music's still out there, but like, like that, I know, like, like, sir, like with that with Mr. Jackson, like that whole vision, it's still out here. It's out here. Yeah. Trust me, it's out here. Yeah. And it, it's going to come. Now, you feel like it was easier to make it in music back then with those type of theme songs that last a lifetime? Or you think it's easier now where anything could go as long as it hits SoundCloud in the right, brought up views and money behind it? Man, the game done changed so much, man. Yeah. I say it's easy, but it's just how you work, for Word. It, to be honest. Word. That's what's good, man. It's challenging. But it's just how you work. Now, how important is that challenge, man? To keep your skills up to touch. Man, you just gotta work every day, no matter what. Now, what is work to you, man? Because a lot of people say work is work is work. But man, what what is work to you, man? Man, practice. Also, sitting down, learning. Learning, research, and study. Yeah. Yeah, man. Some people don't study the classics, bro. We got this new age of people with the music and entertainment and they don't know none of the classics. They want to know who Michael Jackson drummer even ever looked like or sounded like it. Man, you got to know everything, man. That's like going up for a job interview and you, you ain't read the mission statement or something. You know, you got to know where it comes from, man. Look clueless. Now, how important is this music to you, man, in life? I'm just talking about not as an artist, but listening to it through thick and thin, like, what, how important is this entertainment to you, man? Man, this music, it means a lot, man. I just love it. Because I heard earlier you was like, man, I'm going to think about all these memories that came while working on 3-6. Yeah. And that's what it's about, not only as an artist, just a fan, listening to music, man. You attach memories to those. Yeah, you got to have fun doing this shit, man, no matter what. It seemed like it's fun, but these days, man, look, you can see the fun being taken out of it, man. Look like these people sold their souls, man, mm -hmm. and they on a contract to change the change the so color. Focus, focus on that bag, man. They don't, they don't even be creative with it. Mm -hmm. Have fun. How you feel about having Ghost Riders? Man, it's okay, man. It's okay to have a Ghost Rider, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't like it. That's cool, too. You know what I'm saying? They work too. Yeah, yeah. I feel you, bro. I feel you, bro. I want my ghostwriting. You know, ghostwriters low key gets get some profit though. Right. They get they bang too. Can't hate on that. Yeah. Would you get a ghostwriter one day? Say you already came out with your own stuff and some so out of nowhere, the label sat you down and was like, "Here's this dude over here. We want him to write you a song. Would you do it? If there was a bag behind it." I mean, I would work with a ghost writer if I, had, if I had to. Yeah, yeah. Now... Or just, if I feel like it, I feel like I'd go work with one. I don't think there's an issue with that. Ain't no problem with that. It just depends on how, you know, but, I mean, that's it. When, when you're working on albums, it's different. You got other people that they credit on there. Cause they came up with the hook, even if they didn't say it, right? You know, things like that. Cause it, 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 it's wild trying to keep that same level of energy and consistency for that long, you know. Yeah, it's a lot of music, bro. I used to write a lot, and I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm gonna repeat some of my lines over, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can't keep making all these songs for this long, yeah. you know. It's a good vibe, man. When you're in the studio working with Crash and your boys, you know what I'm saying? Throwing some hooks for each other, shit like that, or Man. change some lyrics up a little bit, motivate each other back and forth. Yeah, we do everything, man. That's like, what's up. Like, if this don't sound, I'm mean, like, if this don't sound right, now, nah, I do it again, man. It's good to not have Yes Man around. Man, great, man. You can't have Yes Man around. That shit fuck everything up. Yeah, everybody along for the ride, the party, and get fucked up, but then when something bad happen... Man, <laughs> everybody want to be famous to the time for the network. 
Yeah, I hate famous. I'd rather be famous if it works for promotion and marketing, not just to be famous and then, you know, can't go to the bank to take nothing out and do nothing with it, you know? It's important to monetize and invest, man. Now, when could people expect to see your clothing line come, man? Uh, if I'm watching this right now and I see that shirt, cheap, yes, bro, never, I want one, man. How the hell am I going to get me one? I'm working on it, like, hopefully, shit, probably. I don't want to rush it. I want to say probably, like, maybe, like, next year. Got some shit rolling. That's what's good, man. But you know what, man? It's your boy Big Sprint, Big Sprint. Always watching. Always listening. And we signing out of Coolin' with 17K Entertainment. And today we was in here with... Mono Badass, man. And one last quick question. How did you come up with the name Marlo Badass? Uh, yeah, everybody want to know this, man. Yeah, I, I fuck with Bo Boosie, man. Much love and respect to Boosie. But when it comes to Badass, you know, everybody, like Michael Jordan, everybody say that they're the greatest. I say badass, cause man, I'm a fucking badass no matter what the fuck I do, man. I have confidence in myself, man. And just like, if you believe in yourself, you're like, fuck, I'm a badass at what the fuck I do. Shit, so I came up with that shit, man. We out.